What's up everybody, it's the Lagathon Ray 353 here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon X. In the last episode, I'm sorry I cut the screen off by like, this much. I don't know how that happened, but, uh, for some reason it's raining out right now. But yeah, just, uh, training my Pokemon on this route. You suck. Just training my Pokemon on this route, uh, getting to the next town. Uh, that barely did any damage. Haha, <laughs> gotty. Oh, yeah, it's a fighting type. I gotta use Peck. Boom, super effective. Um, yeah, there's no point in fighting this guy, this fighting type trainer, uh, because there's nothing over there. He looks at you. Whatever. Um, here you can actually find a Drifloon. I'm probably gonna run into it, like, right now. Yay, I knew it! Um, Drifloon is a ghost flying type. Actually, a pretty good combination. So yeah, Ember barely does anything. Uh, why would you want to make yourself small? How does... How does Tackle not affect it? Of course you did. Of course you avoided it. Uh, of course. Actually, it's supposed to be at my mom's house right now, and I don't record when I'm at my mom's. But, um... Oh, my after... It's aftermath. Um... But my dad picked me up, and so my mom. Cause, at the bus stop. Cause, uh... She said it was too foggy to come over and get me, so I'm at my dad's house. Yay. So yeah, these rocks right here, you're gonna have to, uh, hop along them. Um, you can actually, uh, get a, uh, something over here. Go down and, uh, go across here. You can get a leaf stone. <gasps> leaf stone! Okay, that'll, that can involve, uh, Pansage, the grass monkey Pokemon that you can find in Santa Loon Forest. Uh, yeah, that can involve a series of Pokemon. So, yeah, you, that is a very good item. Uh, you can also buy it at the Stone Emporium, a place in Lumio City, where, uh, in, that, that I was in, in episode 7. Okay, finally, I'm, I'm Rete Town. Hello, neighbor, or whatever she said, something neighbor. This is Ambretti Town. I don't know how to pronounce it. Ambret, whatever. You just go through the aquarium to get to Silage City, but first we should go to the fossil lab and have them tell us about fossils. Yeah, whatever. Uh, first one of my Pokemon is Fainted. Let me check who that is. Oh, uh, that's Frogadier. So I gotta heal them up. So yeah, I'm gonna check what level my Pokemon are. Okay. Well, this is gonna evolve soon at level 20, like I said last time, I think. Uh, let's buy some super potions. Oh, we already have a, a lot, uh. But... I'll buy four so we can have ten. Um, maybe an antidote. 
Wait, how much do I have in my bag? Two. Maybe another. Paralyzed heal. Whoa, I can buy 42. Wow, that's a head items cheap. I'm gonna buy three. An awakening. Yeah, uh, there's a move called Yawn. Uh, I think we went over this, but uh, in the next gym, the Rock Gym, he has a Pokemon that has that move, and uh, your Pokemon will get drowsy, and it at least falls falls asleep at least two times. So we're gonna need some awakenings. Uh, burn heals. Maybe just one, cause burns don't occur that often. And maybe one Ice Heal. I never got frozen. Only once in my last playthrough, but. Uh, escape rope can be used to escape uh, dungeons or uh, or uh, caves, and repels. Uh, make sure and make sure uh, any uh, low-level Pokemon don't look, uh, don't appear in grass, so that will be good for catching rare Pokemon. Just like I did for my Ralts, because Ralts is actually pretty rare. So, we're going to go to the fossil lab right here. And see what's going on. Wait for me. <laughs> There's not even an exclamation mark after that. And she's just like, wait for me. There's no enthusiasm in that. Welcome, future archaeologist. Oh, now you're forcing me to be an archaeologist when I grow up? Nintendo logic. I want to be a technolog. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. A technologicalition when I grow up, if that's a word. Technician, whatever. I don't know much words in life. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to go to Glittering Cave, which is the cave uh, to the right of this town, the east to the east of this town. And Sillage City, which is the gym that is the next, uh, which is the city that has the next gym, is to the um, west. But yeah, over here to the east is Glittering Cave. But first, we have to go through uh, this uh, route. Route nine, Spikes Passage. So yeah, uh, we're gonna actually have to ride a Rhyhorn to get past these stones right here. Yeah, ride a Rhyhorn. Yeah, and uh, if there's a stone in your way, uh, there will be one soon. Um, later in the game we'll be riding a mammoth swine through the snow, but whatever, yeah. If there's a stone in your way, skadoosh, you can do that. Skadoosh. And you can walk backwards, too. Crap. Yeah, you can step on wild Pokemon, uh, you can get a Hippopotas, uh, you can also get a Sandile. Uh, which are, uh, Hippopotas is, a uh, is a ground Pokemon. Sandile is a ground and dark. So, yeah, uh, those are some Pokemon you can get. I don't know why I ran away. I kind of want some EXP from people. But, yeah, you can walk backwards. They see me rolling. Okay. And I'm still walking backwards. <laughs> oh, my God. Right, turn around. Turn around. Turn the freak around. There we go. Controls are a little bit weird, but you'll get used to it. The riding Rhyhorn controls. So, yeah, you're supposed to go left, but uh, there's something you can get over here to the right. If you skadoosh this right here. I just like making up words sometimes. Ah. Paralyzed heal, like we need that. Well, we might actually. But I kind of have a good supply of that already. Uh, you can get... Oh, Firestone! Oh, is that where you can get one? I don't think I knew about that last playthrough. Cool, we can evolve some more stuff. You can actually get an Eevee on the next route, Route 10. The, the route that is after Sillage City. Oh yeah, here's Sandile that I was talking about. But yeah, Froggedeer is going to be super effective against these ground types. Because Water Pulse is super effective. So is Bubble, but Water Pulse is more. 
because it's uh yeah, god damn it. There, level twenty-two. Uh. There we go. No, 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 no. I can't do good sound effects. Uh, counter countering so much Pokemon. Ugh. Can't handle it. Trying to zoom in a bit more. Kind of hard. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. I got this. There we go. Water pulse. New, 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 new. Skadoosh. 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 Now there's glittering cave over there. But, uh, I'm actually gonna go over here, and, uh, there's, a there's actually a flying trainer over here, and so I can only use my Flitchinder on him. Hippopotas. I used to pronounce this Pokemon so weird. I used to pronounce it Hippopotamus, and it sounded so wrong. So yeah, if you go up here, you can battle this uh, flying trainer, which you can only use your uh, flying Pokemon. Lady and Ladybug Pokemon, uh, of all form of Ladybug. Silverwind, I think that's a fairy type move, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, it's also bug type, so that's why Ember's super effective, but I don't know why it didn't do much. Probably because it's a level 21 and not only a level 22. Ah, uh, you suck. Confusion. There shouldn't seriously be like a confusion heal. God. Mm. Come on, seriously? Ugh. The Chinder's my only flying Pokemon! Snap out of it, snap- Yes, thank you! Seriously, okay, good, 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 die, thank you, critical hit, thank you, really needed to get this through, or get this done with, cool, I gained like a lot of XP, like a half level, Okay, so we're going to enter Glittering Cavern right here.
Oh good, I thought that was a trainer. Really looks like she's a trainer and she wants to battle you, but she doesn't. Uh, come on, I don't want to get on my horn. There we go. Here we are, Glittering Cave. You can encounter some rock types in here. Ah! There we go. Yeah, you can find, like, dark spots where Pokemon are hiding. Machop. It evolves into, uh, Machamp, or Machoke, and then Machamp, which is a really good fighting type. Uh, wait, do I have any fighting types? Okay, I'm actually gonna use this, uh, I'm actually gonna catch this. Because, uh, fighting... Oh, Dusk Ball, uh, works good in dark or night, or dark areas, cave or night, whatever. Um, so, yeah, uh, fighting types are really super effective against rock types, and, and that's what the, and, uh, the gym, the next gym is rock type, so I'm gonna, uh, catch this, and use it on him. But, uh, I probably won't be keeping this Pokemon after I beat the second gym. I won't be keeping him shortly, so, yeah. So, we're also going to be getting a Tyrant soon, which is, uh, a, the fossil Pokemon who evolves into Tyrantam or somebody. Uh, so we're going to, our party's going to be full. Kangashan! Whoa! Okay. I didn't somehow realize that just now. Okay, seriously, I just flinched and I couldn't move just now. Well, yeah, Kangashan's a pretty heavy Pokemon, actually. I'm gonna see if uh, Lick is affected. Aw, oh, come on, fuck you. Don't. Yo, you fat ass. It's big. Shake your fat out. Okay, I have no time for this. Run away, run away like a little baby. Okay, here we go. Here's uh the exit. We're gonna have we're gonna battle a uh, team flare, which is uh the team of this game. Here's a grunt right there. What's this? Well, well, what do we have here? A nosy little trainer has come poking around. Listen up, we're fashionable. Well, yeah, I don't care. So, yeah, the only Pokemon he has is like a hound or maybe something else. Our frog deer is gonna kick his ass. <laughs> he actually killed it in one hit. Oh, and he has a Zubat. Yawn. Oh, I'm gonna use Pound, actually. I don't know, maybe that wasn't so effective as Water Pulse is, but try something different. Skadoosh. Hey, he's just like, oh, I'm dead. That, that, uh, pose. Yeah, you're, we're gonna have to fight a female grunt over here. Golden nom nom nom. Water pulse is probably gonna kill him one hit again. 
or not. Amnesia! He's got amnesia! Oh crap, not much more time to record.